If you've ever wanted to create a custom GPT that solves a real world use case, I'm gonna teach you how to build your own in this video. So you're gonna learn how to build your own GPTs that really solve a problem in your business. For example, I've created an AI content humanizer that allows me to rewrite my content or help other people if they've used AI and not edited their material. I've also created my own video title generator that creates viral content. And this is just for ideation. So I'm using both of these tools to help me think of new ideas and help me rewrite my content or improve my video topics. And I'm gonna be creating even more GPTs, but I'm gonna challenge myself and show you how you can create your own GPT in less than 10 minutes. For those that don't know me, my name is Eddie, and I've been creating content to help creators use AI effectively, whether it's for your YouTube channel, for SEO, or even short form content. I wanna make sure that you're using AI properly. So I'm gonna leave these two custom GPTs in the description below so you can use them for yourself. And you don't even need to pay because ChatGPT allows you to use them completely for free. I wanna make sure that you actually know how to use it before I start showing you how to create your own GPT. So this one's the AI Content Humanizer. I fine tune it to make sure that it matches the correct style that I want it to. So all you need to do is just click on this input here. And what it's gonna do is gonna just say, hey, please provide me with the sections of your blog post that you'd like me to rewrite. And it's gonna make sure that it follows that same process. So I'm gonna grab this article topic. So you wanna make sure that you put the topic and also the section. So the topic is, how long do hard inquiries stay on your credit report? And I'm gonna grab a section from here. So what is a hard inquiry? Uh, I did use AI for this, so let's go ahead and change it up. I like to make sure that I put the mark down or you can go ahead and just put H2 here and then it's gonna help us rewrite this article. So you can see that it made it a little bit shorter. It gave it more, more line breaks and it sounds so much better than it originally did. And you can see here that it's removing like complex verbiage. It doesn't sound as repetitive and you could keep on doing this over and over again. I also made sure that it includes and keeps any NLP or SEO related keywords because of that topic. So this is really powerful if you're trying to build or use a content humanizer if you're using AI tools. So let's go ahead and build our own custom GPT. If you are on chat GPT, if you have a paid plan, you can go to explore GPTs and then you can go ahead and create your own at the top right corner. And it's gonna take you to this little interface where you can start building or creating, configuring your GPT. Um, this is really, really interesting because it takes you like step by step. So you can go ahead and click on create and it's gonna say, hey, I'm gonna help you build a new GPT. And then it gives you a simple prompt that you can start with. Uh, again, you wanna make sure that you put in as much information as possible. So you don't need to continue fine tuning it later. You can just make some small tweaks as you go along. But we're gonna build a YouTube to SEO blog post generator. So let's go ahead and do that now. All right, so this is what I have and you need to make sure that you at least have the basics of prompt engineering to get started with this entire process. I mean, it can be very basic. So this is what I have as of right now in the making of this video. I wanna build a YouTube to SEO blog post generator that uses an eighth grade reading level, line breaks, and truly helps the reader. The intro needs to include a powerful hook and solution. I also said you need to use proper headings and structure the content in a way that search engines can crawl. So let's go ahead and input this and see what it ha happens. So it's gonna say that it's updating the GPT and then it's gonna help us kind of make sure that we know where we left off if we have to leave anywhere. So that's really important. So now it's gonna ask us, how about the name for the YouTube to SEO blog post converter for this GPT? I can create my own or I can say create it yourself. So create it yourself. So it just named it YouTube to SEO blog converter. Now it's going ahead and generating a profile image for us. So I'm gonna go ahead and change the image actually. I'm gonna just say use a cute logo instead with vibrant glowy colors. All right, so we'll go ahead and use that for now. Um, so I think that's good. I'm gonna say perfect. Now it's gonna have us refine it, or again, just fine tune it. So it's gonna say, what should we emphasize or avoid in the blog post? So some things I don't want it to repeat is transition words, additionally, therefore, moreover, and I always wanna keep an eighth grade reading level. So let's go ahead and add that in there. And it's gonna go ahead and make sure that it fine tunes it and it updates the GPT for us. So just in case it has a thing where it wants us to know how it should interact with us. So just say casual, but straight to the point. All right, so now it's saying it's ready. And again, this is like the bare bones of our GPT. We can continue fine tuning it and you can go into the configure section and you can mess around with the name, the description. You can add in your own more custom instructions or you can go back into the create section and have it help you do that. So if you're doing this just for your own business or company, you can add in knowledge information or like a custom knowledge database of 
PDFs, files. And what the GPT is going to do is it's going to go ahead and use the file contents from there to help you process your information. Uh, but sometimes it can hallucinate. So from here, you can add any capabilities such as web browsing, Dolly, image generation, code interpreter, or data analysis. And just in case, this allows you ChatGPT to run code. So if you know anything about that, you can add that in there as well. Then this is a lot more advanced, but you can add in a action, which is essentially like what plugins used to be in ChatGPT. But this allows you to retrieve information or take Take actions outside of chat GPT. So if you know anything about APIs or authorization codes or keys, you can add that from another tool. So for example, I'm going to be leaning more toward this later on in other videos, but I'm just trying to show you guys how to create a really simple custom GPT, but you can add in schema and APIs that allows you to run from other applications, such as, you know, a YouTube to transcript tool generator, or you can use it for like summarizations. You can grab like Zapier and put in other tools like that, like make.com and create these insane actions. But let's just jump in and show you what this YouTube to SEO blog post converter looks like. So I'm gonna go to my YouTube channel and I'm gonna grab a recent video. And I'm just gonna grab the share link here. Then I'm gonna go to youtubetranscript.com. I'm gonna enter the URL and I'm gonna go back into the GPT and I'm gonna go ahead and see if, and test if this works properly. All right, so now I put the input in there and it's saying, sure, please provide the YouTube transcript that you'd like me to convert into blog post. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the transcript in there. And I'm gonna also add the type, the topic or title as well, just in case. Okay, so it looks like it's doing a really good job. I have no idea why the image is like blown out of proportion, but uh, just from this example, we have our H1, we have our entire intro, we have uh, proper heading tags, and I mean, it's looking really, really good for me. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and set it for only me for now uh, and to make sure that I can continuously use this to test it for you guys. I'm going to go to view GPT and I'm going to try this one more time so we can actually look at how it looks um, when it's not all crunched up together. All right, so I went ahead and added the title and I also added a description. I want to see how it looks like uh, when it's not all crunched up. Wow, so to me, this is really good. How YouTube changed my life in less than 90 days. I never thought I'd be here, but YouTube has changed my life. I went from making videos with no views, being shy on camera, to getting emails from people wanting to work with me and many business opportunities. Then it has an H2, my journey as a YouTube creator. Hi, I'm Eddie. Uh, my first YouTube paycheck has an H3. What worked for me? Here's what I did to grow my channel. And it's adding all the specific things, adding affiliate links. So overall, I think this is looking really good and even adds some key takeaways. And then we can honestly continue fine tuning this like we can keep adding like hey there's a few things i don't like you can tell it to to add more details you can use this just as a rough draft but this is how i create a youtube to seo blog converter using a custom gpt so i will leave that for you guys in the description and make sure that you guys can try it out for yourself but try to create your own custom gpt and see what happens so that is like how you create custom gpts as a complete beginner and that is without using any of the actions or like apis and we still can even fine tune the prompt even more with the create database. So if you wanna learn more about AI blogging prompts or just wanna learn more about how you can use specific prompting, you can watch these two videos next, but if not, go ahead and leave a comment in the description below. I'll see you in the next video.